Hello, everybody. Hi, everybody. And welcome to the Friday Five. Five. Woo. All <laughs> right. So I've got a good friend here. Annika is here all the way from Ohio. Ohio. And uh, tell us what you're doing down here in Texas. So I have been so excited to be down here because I've been working with Don and Edith since October. I have a small marketing consulting company called Market Inc. And it's been so awesome to see them implement newsletters and client relationship stuff and books and community outreach. Our and Friday Five. Friday Fives, yeah. And it's it's nice to see it all in person. So I'm really happy that they invited me down. Thank you. And I did give you some homework to go watch Urban Cowboy. John Travolta. I'm on it. <laughs> all right, good. Okay, number one, why is it important to follow your doctor's orders if they tell you to go get surgery? Well, one thing is you're never going to have another opportunity where someone else is going to pay for that surgery. You're going to be, you know, if you have time off of work, the insurance company is going to pay for it. Um, they're going to pay for the physical therapy that you're going to need afterwards. But as soon as that deadline is up, that statute of limitations is gone, you're not going to have that opportunity once again. So That's right. The thing is, is once you sign a release, mm -hmm. your case is over. It's done. And you may have a recommendation for surgery. Right. But that only adds up a little bit of value to your case. The, if you if you're going to get something done, you need to get it done before you sign a release. And you don't want the insurance company to say, well, you must not be that hurt if you don't want to get the surgery done. Exactly. You know? And they will. They'll use every dirty trick in the book. They're going to say that you're really not hurt if you don't have the surgery. Get the surgery. If your doctor says so, do it. That's right. Number two, three ways to beat procrastination. Wow, this article was really good for me. Uh, the, one of the very most important um, skills that I learned is to eat the frog. First do, thing in the morning. The hardest thing that you have to do, get it done first. Yeah, absolutely. Another tip that I thought was really good, and I've used this, is that timer on my computer mm -hmm. to be able to set something. Okay, i got 20 minutes. I'm going to concentrate on do this one task. And that's really helped me a lot, too. Yeah, there's a bunch of other um, suggestions in the article, so check it out. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, number three, insurance company trick of the week. It's where they say, hey, we really feel bad for you and we want to help you. And look, we don't need to go through the whole thing. Let me just go ahead and offer you a couple, two, three thousand dollars. It'll help you out. You can't work. We'll just, you know. And people are desperate. Right. And they're playing on that. They're taking advantage of people who are desperate. And they don't realize you're not going to get any more money later. This is it. But they make it sound like it's just some cash to, to get you to make ends meet. Yeah, but as soon as you sign it. Or now they're doing a lot of oral recordings mm. and they're getting you to agree to settle for a certain amount of money. And maybe even this is the first day after your, your wreck, the second day after your wreck, you don't even realize you're hurt yet. Right. That's true. Yeah. So be careful. Number four, 10 tips for a safe 4th of July, how to keep your family safe. Yeah. It's, I mean, obviously don't drink and drive. Don't do any of the stupid things, but also think about your protection for your little ones. Yeah. I thought this was a good idea. Yeah. We don't really. And there's also, um, you know, think about your pets too. If you 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 think that your pet is going to run with that loud noise, make sure that they're in the house and and kind of caged in. Yeah, absolutely. I thought there were some really good points. Stay away from illegal fireworks. So obviously, important. be careful. Um, a lot of people get things blown up and burned. Yeah. Don't do things stupid. Put it in your pants. You know. Okay. All right. <laughs> right. Hold my be beer. Funny. Right. Yeah. Exactly. And be careful. We we ran with ran with sparklers all the time. Just be careful if you have a little one. Um, watch them very carefully. All right. Number five. Man, that was quick today. Yeah. All right. So foods that have more vitamin D than a glass of milk. I personally need as much vitamin D as I can get because it is such a mood booster. And especially being in Ohio where there's not quite as much sunshine, we depend on, you know, vitamin D from our, from other sources, right? Yeah. So. And they had some good ones in here. Salmon. Mm -hmm. and, uh, mushrooms. A mushrooms. A can of, of tuna. Yeah. Um, and uh, some other, a couple other foods there. Um, great ideas, canned tuna. There was one other one. What was, oh, the orange, orange juice. juice. Yeah, for sure. You can buy that at the at the market uh, fortified orange juice with, with vitamin, vitamin D. D. Yeah. And also, if you click on the link, um, there's another list by Harvard that has all these different ways to get other vitamins into your meals as well. So check it out. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, guys. We'll see you later. Everybody have a great Friday and be Bye. careful. Have a good 4th of July.